What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I am Brian and I'm here today with a really fun pack, a really interesting pack, one that I cannot wait to get open, and it's not actually mine. So let's jump into this. Let me get this pack open and then I'll explain what we're looking at. Okay, this pack is fresh from Ukraine. This is a Paco Lab pack, and I am super excited for this one because it is the second ever city carrier to be made. And so if you're familiar with my other Paco Lab video, you know that I think Paco Lab is absolutely fantastic. The craftsmanship, the attention to detail is exceptional. The value for the money is incredible. And this is a pack that he told me he was making some time ago. It was something I was really looking forward to. It's a clamshell day pack. And he actually told me that his books were open, he was taking orders, and I actually was stumped. I didn't know what to tell him. I didn't know how I wanted to customize this pack, and it's because I personally kind of have pack overload. I've tried just about everything. I've seen all of the different materials, and I was just kind of stumped. I was like, I don't want to make something out of Ultra or Eco Pack or X Pack. I've just kind of seen it all, and I told him, you know, I'm just going to wait and see what he comes up with and look for inspiration. And funny enough, that very same day, later that day, he posted pictures of this pack. This pack belongs to my good friend Scott. Shout out to Scott for letting me check this pack out first before you even have taken possession of it. I really appreciate that. But I remember seeing this and just thinking, this is exactly the inspiration I was looking for. And it really just kind of illustrates just how on top of his game Paco Lab actually is. He's got a brand new cutting edge design that is very uniquely his own. That's one of my favorite things about Paco Lab. Everything he does, he has his own design language and he's not afraid of experimenting, but he also deeply cares about functionality. And I think this pack kind of blends it all together in a sort of perfect everyday carry pack. The materials, the reason this caught my eye, he's pushing the envelope with the materials he uses as well. So this is a Haley Stevenson's wax canvas. It's a combination of both navy and field bean. And just the contrast with the different panels in the different colors is absolutely stunning. The material itself in hand is just going to patina and age, I think, so nicely. Feels great to the touch, feels very durable. It's not too waxy in that like it doesn't feel like it's coming off on my fingers. It just feels like a really quality heritage material that's going to age beautifully and it's exactly the type of inspiration that I personally was looking for because I don't have a lot of experience with waxed canvas material packs and I certainly haven't found one to date that's really caught my attention in a way where I've decided to keep it. I've checked out the Evergoods Griffin, I've checked out the Trax Store, and neither worked out for my personal needs that well. This to me blends heritage materials with contemporary design in a way that I am absolutely here for. So let's jump in to this pack as you can see, there's a lot of asymmetry going on. We have a asymmetrical front panel with what appear to be two pockets, one on each side. Wow, that zipper. Beautiful zipper, amazing feel, really nice pull. And in terms of the pocket, we have an unlined backside to the wax canvas. It looks like we have an ultra grid liner on the inside. I believe this is Coyote, the color. And then it looks like we've got some Dura Stretch pockets. So a little bit of organization, really just kind of two stretchy pockets, ultra grid Coyote on the back, unlined on the front. Really nice size compartment for a front pocket. And 
I think, I'm guessing, we basically have the same setup on the opposite side, although the pocket, as you can see, sits a little bit taller. I think it just makes for a really interesting design. It catches the eye. It appears to be an identical setup, unlined on the back of the front, Ultra Grid Coyote on the back, Dura Stretch pockets, and we also have a keychain holder that you operate by pulling down. It's a nice touch. Front panel, Velcro, patch field up top. And the cool thing about being a custom maker, again, is you can specify kind of all of the finishing touches. So you can pick the materials. And this pack, probably more than any other pack that I've seen, has such a unique flavor and feel and look to it based on the end materials chosen. So I've seen one in UVX 40, I've seen one in Multicam Tropic. Those are two of my favorite materials as I picked out on this arch pack here, UVX 40, Multicam Tropic. Each one of them is very cool in their own right and looks very different to this one here. So it's kind of like the pack of many faces, you know, you can kind of pick the aesthetic that you're after and still have this really awesome contemporary design. And in my case, I'm really interested in these heritage materials. So let's get into the main compartment. Zipper is so smooth. It is an AquaGuard zipper, but as AquaGuard zippers go, this is among the smoothest that I think I've ever operated. To the back of the inside, it does feel like there is foam padding between the interior and the exterior of this pack. In fact, I can feel it right now. I can confirm there is a foam pad between the back side of this front pocket and the interior. And that's not something that I think is typically done on most packs, but I really appreciate it because it really makes for a very protected main compartment. On the back side of the front panel, we have two mesh pockets, both a healthy size. The top one kind of splits in the middle in terms of the opening. The bottom one is nice and large. Now, there is one kind of element that I'm noticing, it appears, from this design that's not really a deal breaker, but just something to note is because of the asymmetry at the bottom of this pack, you can see there's kind of more material bunched up on that side. And when you open it, it it's kind of, it opens asymmetrical. You get more opening over here than you do over here, but it doesn't really seem to inhibit or prohibit the operation of this pack. It just kind of folds right along that seam. It's actually pretty cool. It's actually pretty nice the way that this works. Into the main compartment, we've got foam padding on the bottom. No foam padding on the sides, but it is a fully lined interior. And we do have one kind of Dura Stretch pocket on each side of the main compartment. Doesn't feel like a huge pack. I don't know what the dimensions are liter wise. I would guess somewhere in the 22 ish liter range. Probably should look that up. Okay, so I looked it up and I feel like I'm getting pretty good at this. It's advertised as 21 liters. The back of this main compartment is actually a full loop field. So you can attach Velcro pouches and patches to it if you like. Overall, it is a beautiful size, beautiful main compartment. And this right here appears to be actually a luggage strap that he just attached to the interior, which is kind of nice, but I believe the intent is to connect to this area out here. Yep, these two loops, and that way you can put this on a kind of suitcase trolley if you're at the airport or something. Really nice, just well thought out design. We have one D-ring here, and then it looks like I think these clips are actually designed to hold his other packs like a Pacolab Samurai, so you can attach a Samurai at the back here. Overall, very beautiful. While I'm here, let's get a weight for this guy. 
Keep in mind, this is a wax canvas material, so if you pick something like X-Pack or Eco-Pack, the weight is probably likely to be less than this because wax canvas does tend to be heavier. Three pounds, 1.4 ounces. That is a really awesome weight for an everyday carry pack made out of wax canvas. That is a real winner of a weight. Since we're here, let's load out the main compartment just so that when I'm done, I can throw this on my back and we can complete this review. As usual, I've got my trusty camera cube. I always need to take that everywhere. Will it fit that? Yes, it will. Not a whole lot of room beyond that. Evergood's Cap 2. Throw that in the top. We're kind of nearing capacity. Philip Robach admin pouch. Can we fit that? I think so, but that about does it. So overall, a smaller-ish pack at 21 liters, but an incredibly usable 21 liters. As a day pack, this really fits kind of like the perfect size. And check this out. I just noticed this. Not many pack makers are doing this. What do we have on the main compartment? We've got quad zips. So you can open from the bottom and gain access to the main compartment without fully unzipping the pack from the top. And you can do it from both sides because you technically could keep two zippers on one side and do that, but then you don't have access to the other side. So that is just a really incredible attention to detail feature that nobody else is really doing. To the top, the handle. I've been holding this handle the whole time and it's just been very comfortable. It's very intuitive. It's a really nice size. I believe he says there's air mesh foam on the bottom. You can see there is waxed canvas on the top. We've got a D-ring on this side, a loop right there, a way to hang the pack at the back, Overall, just a lot of quality little finishing touches. Dura stretch, feeling water bottle pocket, nice size. To the top, we've got what appears to be a quick access pocket. And again, the zippers. I'm so impressed with the zippers. It's very rare to find AquaGuard zippers that operate so smoothly. This quick access pocket feels felt lined. It's very soft. You can put kind of delicate or fragile things in here. A nice wallet, some glasses. Really great place to store small items like that. And then it appears we also have a laptop compartment at the rear. And this does go all the way to the bottom. And it's not exactly suspended, but you can see it's a little bit higher than the floor of the main compartment. So I do think it is pretty well protected. It feels like the same kind of loop field material that's on the back of the main compartment. It is very soft. I think it's going to be great for laptops in terms of like not scratching them, keeping them nice and safe. And on the other side, I'm assuming we're not supposed to open this, but I kind of want to check it out anyway to see what's in here. I'm assuming it's a frame sheet, and it is. We have a polyurethane looking frame sheet in the back panel. So I think that does it for all of the compartments. Now let's check out the back because the back is very interesting. You can see here we have asymmetrical foam on the back panel. Now it's an air mesh foam. It's very airy. It's both kind of soft to the initial touch and then firm underneath. Lots of preparation. My number one question is, is this going to be comfortable or are you going to notice the asymmetry of these panels when it's on your back? So we're going to explore that. Now the straps themselves are the same air mesh on the back side. Again, the wax canvas on the front. We have a little bit of webbing here that I believe is just for hanging sunglasses or glasses off of if you like, maybe a carabiner. And then we've got the webbing down here at the bottom. So this is a pretty big departure from many packs 
that do webbing kind of all the way down. In fact, when I first saw it, I said, where was the webbing? Because I only saw kind of a cutoff of the upper part of the pack, and I was very interested in having webbing, especially for, as you know, a sternum strap. So let's try this pack on and see what we think. So I always remember this feature at this point in the videos where I set the pack down and it stands up on its own. I love packs that stand up on their own. This one stands up on its own. It looks absolutely fantastic. It also seems to be incredibly functional. Now the test of the day, is it comfortable? Because if it's comfortable, I think we have a real winner of a pack here. It's comfortable, it's very nice. The sternum strap is especially cool to operate. Not many sternum straps use a magnetic connector like this. Many, if they're using a magnetic connector, are gonna use the Fidlocks. This one is not a Fidlock. Actually, it's interesting. You gotta make sure you slot it in correctly. You gotta come at this angle for it to connect the correct way. If you just kind of try to throw it on, it will connect, but it's technically not locked in correctly. But it slides so smoothly. So look at this. I just kind of pull that, pull that, pull that. Just kind of one-handed, I can make the adjustment. And it's nice and thick. The straps are really comfortable. They're not all that thick. I mean, they're not thin, but they're not super thick. But the air mesh foam, and the size and the cut, it just, it falls very nicely, at least for me, it feels very comfortable. And the back, I'm not noticing any issue with that. So overall, this feels really great on my back. And I do have it loaded out with a bit of weight right now. So I think I am getting a sense for what this would be like to use in the real world. Now, I'll tell you, I've done a lot of pack reviews and with my later reviews, I am taking them on long walks just to kind of confirm what I feel. In this case, I really don't want to get this pack all sweaty. It doesn't belong to me. I'm just kind of checking it out for you guys. I got to make sure it makes its way to Scott in like new, as new condition. So we're not going to take this on a three mile walk and get the foam all sweaty in the back pad. But I am pretty confident in just evaluating it here that this is gonna be an incredibly comfortable day pack to use and wear. Overall, as usual, I am blown away by the quality of Paco Labs creations, and they really are creations. The designs are unlike anyone else out there. He is, in my opinion, one of the best builders out there, certainly the best when you factor in bang for the buck. I'm not going to tell you what this pack costs. If you're interested, I highly recommend reaching out to him directly. But I would bet you that whatever you think it costs, it actually costs less. So, like I said, incredible bang for the buck. Boris, you knocked it out of the park yet again. I still don't know what I want in terms of placing an order for myself, but I'm not in a rush. Really happy to have checked this out. Shout out to Boris, shout out to Paco Lab, shout out to Scott. Anyone out there watching this video, I know there's a lot of people that are interested in this pack. It's brand new, cutting edge design. What do you think of this pack? Let me know in the comments. I want to hear from you. And that's all I've got for this one. So thank you for watching. I appreciate you. And I will see you at the next one soon.